Hello team and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Elite and Specialist Unit 473 Special Observation Post Battery, a part of the Royal Artillery. So let's get into it. Who are they, what do they do and how can you join them? They are a Specialist Reconnaissance and Surveillance Patrol Unit, part of the regular British Army. They do have a reserve unit, um, which is called the HAC, but we're not going to be talking about them today. And they are part of 5th Regiment Royal Artillery up in Catterick, okay, so they're a small battery attached to 5th Regiment Royal Artillery. Uh, they're a very small unit um, and they've only actually been around since 1982, so they're a very young unit, okay. but. There's not really much information on them out there. And even I feel within the British Army, um, more could be known about them. People have heard about them. Uh, but I think people are missing a little trick here. And I did when I was younger. Um, being ex-artillery myself, you know, we used to call them 4 7 who and that. But you didn't give them enough credit. And actually, when you look into them, and I've worked with them before, they are a very good unit, very professional, and very keen soldiers. And it's something that you may want to do. You may be in your career now where you're thinking, what do I want to do next? I'm thinking about leaving the army, but you've got these options open to you, you know, instead of, instead of leaving now, transferring is quite a big thing, and you can just do a two year assignment with these as well. So this is open to anyone within the military, so they recruit from all three services, whether you're Navy, British Army, Royal Air Force, you can apply and attempt their selection course. It also works on a two year assignment, and then after those two years, you can ask if you ask to transfer across, or whether you want a two year career break, or you want to full on transfer and try something new for the rest of your career, then this is definitely a viable option. You know, many people know about Pathfinders, obviously you've got SF Selection, you've got Op Samson, there's, there's other sort of courses and postings that you can do out there, but no one really talks about 473 unless you're within the Royal Artillery, but they're open tri service. It's definitely something you need to look into. Saying that, it's not easy. It's a very, very hard course. So they were formed back in 1982 uh, during the Cold War times when 5th Regiment were based out in Germany um, and the commanding officer felt there was a need for like small teams to push forward and dig underground to so subsurface OPs. Um, on, an, on an advance from the Russians. And then when the Russians would advance, they would then communicate back with what they saw and possibly call in artillery strikes to hopefully kill, damage, maim, suppress, neutralize, whatever it is, as much of the Russian um, enemy as possible to slow down their advance. So that's how they come about in 1982. And this is where they're actually quite special and elite. Uh, so doing some research, from what I've seen, they've actually gone to SF, so the SAS, they've gone to the Royal Marine Commandos, they've gone to Pathfinders, and they've gone to other units, and they've got all this information from them. And the first course was run in 1982, who, who actually um, had SAS instructors, Royal Marine instructors, and Parachute Regiment were the first lot of instructors to obviously teach and form this battery because there was no battery before, so they couldn't go to their current uh, soldiers to obviously instruct so that's pretty cool in itself and up until the war of, war of afghanistan apparently they had a wo2 from the sas permanently staff there and attached to them that's that's pretty cool once again in itself it's a very very hard course and um, what they do is very very specialist okay so they push forward like i said of the friendly forces and in simple terms dig a hole in the ground okay so subsurface op or go into some sort of bush hide they're, they're specialists at it they're, getting in, inserting in and not being seen and then just staying there for seven days, maybe longer, okay? And then just basically reporting back what they see, okay? So this is a surveillance and reconnaissance. They're sort of like an eye star asset. So they're gonna report back as much as they can in as much detail as possible. So the friendly forces, the chain of command back at headquarters can gather as much intelligence as possible and build a picture without actually seeing um, the enemy. So they're their eyes and then they're sending a picture back. They're also trained in um, FSTs, a case of the observation post, so they can call in artillery assets, attack helicopters, fast air, your precision missiles, um, if need be. All this is done in six man teams. Like I said earlier though, it is hard. You have to go for a 13 week arduous selection course that consists of physical fitness, uh, communication training, patrols training, medical training, 
tough navigation training because you need to be all over your navigation if you're going to push that far in front of the friendly forces and possibly behind enemy lines you don't want to be getting lost and even at the end of the course they do sear okay so they do survive evade resist and extract training okay which not many courses out there not many sort of units out there actually do that sort of training you can also join these straight from training as well so don't feel like you have to be in the army um, i've done, done a certain amount of time like the pathfinders or special forces you can just join the royal artillery okay you can apply to join fifth regiment royal artillery apply to join sta patrols You'll go through phase one training, you'll then do your phase two at Lark Hill um, where you go into the specialist troop with the recruits um, who are going to 7 Parachute Regiment Royal Artillery and 2-9 Commando Royal Artillery. You'll do your extra training there, you then go up to 5th Regiment and then you'll go and attempt selection there and then if you pass and badge you'll go straight in. All uh, recruits okay so anyone who passes and badges get to wear the Special Observer's badge on all uniforms, okay, um, to represent and say that you have badged. And it's, it's an honor. So since 1982, only 355 personnel have passed and badged into the battery. That's not much, so 355 people. So you're gonna be part of an elite club, okay, an elite unit. It's something pretty cool. Um, that you can say that you've been a part of. Once you join the battery, are you gonna be busy? Are you actually gonna be doing anything? Or are you gonna be bored? Like, you know, some of the our British Army are at the minute. You're gonna be extremely busy, okay? They've been on every major operation since they were formed in 1982. They're constantly going away on whether it's overseas exercises or exercises in the UK, because they need to stay concurrent and up to date. They've always got a small six-man team attached to 16 Air Assault, ready at high, high readiness and to be deployed anywhere in the world. They've done cold weather warfare, they go to um, warm, warmer climates, they go pretty much everywhere, okay? So they're designed to push forward anywhere in the world behind enemy lines. So they need to be adaptable and they need to be able to survive in any sort of situation. To the point where they was in Afghanistan and they actually carried out the longest uninterrupted uh, long range patrol, um, which has been conducted since World War II, where they went on a seven week uh, patrol within Afghanistan in their WIMIX uh, without any operational pause. Okay, so they, they, they can do it. They're, they're, they're very well trained and they are something that you need to look into. So let's just do summarize then. You can join them from all three services, uh, whether that's Navy, Army, Air Force, you can apply, do a two year assignment and then ask to transfer after that if you'd like to. You can apply um, as a civilian and join straight from training as long as once again, you pass the selection course. The selection course is 13 weeks, uh, consisting of things like physical fitness tests and assessments, your communications and navigation, um, first aid, and then you've got your SEER training, your patrols training, your live fire and ranges on top of that. Once you badge, you then get your uh, special observer's badge, which you get to wear on all forms of uniform. There is no specialist pay. Uh, there never was when I was in the artillery and I can't see where um, they're given any at the minute, but you do get the badge. You get to become a part of the elite unit, okay? A small uh, club of only 355 people so far who have badged into the unit. You get posted up to North Yorkshire in Catterick, um, part of 5th Regiment Royal Artillery, okay? And you're gonna get deployed anywhere in the world doing surveillance and reconnaissance, okay? That's using sort of photography equipment as well. Once you put badging, you then get to go into learning photography. You use, you use specialist cameras, some different weapon systems as well. They're not just confined to the SA-80 like most units. I know they're getting top of the range kit and they're trialing new kit. They sort of get left alone as well. So it is definitely something you should look at if you're thinking about leaving the army or you're a little bit bored and you're a little bit unsure you want to do. You maybe don't want to go PF or SF. Look at this definitely something you should look into. They deserve more credit. They're not very well known. So when you speak to people, they're like those special observers. Yeah, 473, go and check them out. They've got an Instagram page. Send them a message. They've got a telephone number on there if you wanna ring up for more information, an email. You can get hold of Ed Din um, and find out a lot more information about them. But I just wanted to give you a bit more information um, to let you know that they are out there. They are recruiting and it's something that you could do if you really wanna push yourself um, and see if it's possible for you to achieve it. So go and check them out. Cheers. Let us know if you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Click that subscription button and I'll see you soon. Dear mama, 
Well, something's wrong, it's cold for a summer night I feel there's something far beyond what is in my sight 